Welcome back to TNT's Garage. In this week's episode, we're gonna be going through and addressing my front end. We got a few things to finish. We got some new wheel bearings that we need to put in. We got a leaky diff that we got to address. Just put it all back together. So like I said, we got new wheel bearings for these and those white boxes. And then we got to address this leaky diff still here. Okay, so we started doing these wheel bearings. They were on the ground and it was kind of hard for us to hold it and torque it like off. So we rigged up these grade eights in here in the caliper so then it will stop moving and then we just threw it down in the rim so then we can get these out. Got these. Put my arms on these two sides, replace, got the drop bracket thing in there. The old ones are out, new ones are in. The next thing is that we gotta put the diff in back in the front. And after that, we put the center link over there in. So we got the diff installed in there. So, come around here it literally is just this bracket that comes in here it drops it that six inches just like it is here comes to here there's another bracket up in there still got the tag on it goes up there we've got to cut the exhaust down here so then the drive line for the front will clear and then this arm goes in there and then the front weight goes in there so it got dark on us but that didn't stop us we got these little steering links in here which comes up to this that steers obviously you come through this is the front drop bracket here the lower control arm will mount here here CV axle diffs mounted up in there. As you can see there. Everything's torqued to spec. The two upper control arms will sit up here. And these brackets, shock just mounts up in there and just is a longer. Yeah. Come back here. Got this into place. Yeah. Got the new the drive line back in. Gain in progress. So we got new wheel bearings, rotors, everything for the brake system. Just, it's all new. Just so we don't have any problems down the road. All the ball joints and bushings are new. Everything's new. So we got both sides installed. Lower control arm, upper control arm, sway bar, CV axles, shocks. They're all mounted up. Got this side done. We also went through, did the other side as well. Now we should go through and hook up all our steering leakages, but that'll be on another day. Okay, so it's a new day. We started doing these yesterday, but then we came out here and finished them. I'm going through, tightening up the cotter pins, making sure all the bolts are nice and torqued, and then we we'll able to put the tires on. We got both sides done. The everything's new. So we got it on its wheels, its new shoes. We had it on the jack and then we kind of set it down and we forgot we needed to 
we didn't forget, but we knew we needed to tighten these up, but then we didn't realize how much they actually do. The thing actually squatted so bad. Luckily, we didn't set it down that hard. But for now, it's sitting on those jack stands, and then tomorrow we can go rent the tool from O'Reilly and tighten those up. And then we should be able to put it back on its all fours, and it should be rolling again. Welcome back. It's a new day, and Talon's doing stuff. Yeah, I'm doing lots of stuff, but I'm jacking it up right now because we got the torsion bar tool thingy, the key tool clamp thingy in the bobber, and yeah, and we're it's tight, so we're going to see if it'll hold on its own weight here. Oh, by the way. Thank you. Okay. We're going nice and slow on this one. I don't think we got them tight enough. Nope. Go back up. Last night we went through, we got the torsion bars kind of on and they were actually reversed so then we were putting too much load under them and it literally sat on the bump stops the whole time, the upper bump stops. So, switched them around, did some research, switch, they switched them. Now, it actually sits, now it like, rides good. And then we're gonna get this thing out of here, get the garage prepped up, get it ready for next week's video that you guys will see. Okay, so we got out of the garage. We need to go through, clean this motor up a little more than we have, get all this oily crud stuff off. We need to change the valve covers. Got some new ones. The seals. Gotten some new headers. Got some new engine mounts in there. Motor mounts. We need to strip this wiring off the transmission to get it painted back that same color. We need to go through and get these cab mounts off so we can get the bed fitted up on here and get that ready to go too. Probably need to unbolt this back bumper as well. And that'll be coming up soon. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.